Hello and welcome to this Revision Monkey video on the required practicals that are going to be in the 2022 exam for Physics Paper 2. This is for the AQA specification and this is for separate scientists or otherwise known as triple scientists in some schools. And those students are the ones that take six exams at the end of the course for Biology, Chemistry and Physics, all of which are one hour and 45 minutes long. So these this video is for higher tier students and the required practical that they've asked you to focus on for physics paper 2 is reflection and refraction. So that will be covered in this video. Do also keep an eye out on the description as I'll put a link in there for the key content you need to learn for this exam. And I'll also put a link in there for some practice questions to help you with this required practical. Reflection and refraction of light, required practical, for separate scientists only. First of all, we'll remind ourselves of the two different types of reflection that we can have. If you have a rough surface, like this one shown on the left here, then the rays of light coming in will all hit different angles of surface. They will all obey the law of reflection, whereby the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. However, the light will be scattered because each ray of light will be reflected off at different angles. So this one's called diffuse reflection and this image over here so shows specular reflection which happens on a smooth surface whereby again all of the rays of light obey the law of reflection but they're all being reflected at the same angle and this is called specular reflection and this will give us a really clear reflection. So you may be asked to investigate how different surfaces reflect light. You would choose a variety of objects that you want to reflect the light. For example, a mirror, paper, foil and glass. You would draw a line on the piece of paper, like shown, and place the object on the line. So you'd position a ray box directed at the object and shine a single beam of light, like so, onto the object. Using a pencil, draw the incident, which is the ray going in, and the reflected rays on the paper. So you might have something that looks a little bit like this. Draw a normal line. This is the normal line, which is at, always at 90 degrees to the surface. And measure the angle of incidence. So that's this angle here, which is between the normal and the incident ray, and the angle of reflection. You would then repeat this for the other objects and also record the width and the brightness of the reflected ray. Because if you've got specular reflection, you're going to get a really thin and bright reflected ray coming out. However, if you have more diffuse reflection, you would have a wider ray of light coming out and it would be dimmer as well. Or perhaps you wouldn't see a reflected ray at all on some materials. For this practical, you'd want to keep the angle of incidence the same, so keep the ray box in a fixed position, and also keep the power of the lamp in the ray box the same. They would be important control variables. The thing that we'd be changing is the object that we are reflecting from, and the thing that we are going to be measuring, well, there'll be several things. We'll be measuring the angle of reflection, but we might also be recording the width of the ray and the brightness of the ray as well. So there may be several things we're recording in this experiment. In the exam, they may well also ask you to actually keep the object the same and instead change the angle of incidence and measure different angles of reflection. So they might manipulate this practical slightly and ask you to investigate something slightly different. But that's the basic setup that you need to follow. We looked at reflection before, this time we are going to look at refraction, which is the bending of light as it goes through a different medium. We will select a range of transparent rectangular blocks made of different materials, for example different plastics and um, different types of glass for example. We then position a ray box so that it shines a single beam of light at an angle to the rectangular block. So this is our incident ray going in here. Using a pencil we then draw around the block and using a pencil and ruler we draw the incident ray, which is this one here, 
and the emergent ray that comes out of the block. So our diagram might be, look something like this to start off with, the outline of the block with the instant ray and the emergent ray that comes out of the block. We then remove the block and draw a line to connect the incident ray and the emergent ray, which is shown in this diagram here. Just like we did in our reflection diagrams, we need to draw a normal line at 90 degrees to the surface where the incident ray meets the block. So this is the instant ray going in. And we need to measure the angle of incidence, which is between the instant ray and the normal line, and the angle of refraction. So this is the refracted ray going through. So this is our angle of refraction. We then repeat this for the different material blocks and repeat it three times for each block and calculate a mean angle of refraction. So for this practical, our independent variable is going to be the different material blocks that we're using. Our dependent variable is the angle of refraction. And for this practical, we're going to want to keep our angle of incidence the same. So this is going to be a control variable.